This view from uh, external cameras on the International Space Station uh, showing uh, the entry of the Soyuz vehicle as it barrels through the uh, Earth's atmosphere. A rare view of the Soyuz uh, streaking uh, towards a pre-dawn landing on the central steppe of Kazakhstan. Less than 20 minutes to go till touchdown. And now the first view uh, of Soyuz commander Sergei Volkov in his uh, reclining chair, having a few moments uh, to acclimate himself uh, to a gravity environment for the first time in five and a half months. As you can see, uh, the ground is uh, snow covered, quite cold as uh, sunrise has uh, emerged. Volkov uh, wrapping up his second long duration mission. He was the Expedition 17 commander of the International Space Station three years ago. Now the second crew member is being extracted. There is Mike Fossum, the Expedition 29 commander, wrapping up his third flight into space with a big smile. Being carried to uh, his reclining chair, he'll be wrapped up in a uh, warm blanket. Again, uh, a few minutes of uh, an acclimation to a gravity environment. Fossum looks to be none the worse for wear. We're still awaiting uh, the extraction of Satoshi Furukawa, and now on the line with us from the landing site is uh, NASA Public Affairs Officer Josh Byerly. Josh, if you can hear me, uh, good morning on Tuesday morning there. Uh, please give us a description of what you're seeing. Uh, well, I can verify that it's cold. I can, I can, I can tell you that. They, uh, you know, they warned us. Uh, about the weather out here, uh, you know, as far as the landing, everything went fine. It's, uh, I mean, the capsule's on its side, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, the crew is doing well. Everybody flashing a big thumbs up. Um, this actually was one of the more dramatic landings I think I've seen uh, in the years that I've been doing this because the sun was just coming up. Uh, Joel Montalbano and I were on uh, one of the first helicopters to get here. Uh, but right as the sort of the entry interface was happening, we looked out the right side, the starboard side of our helicopter, and we could actually see the entry taking place. There was a huge uh, plasma trail coming back behind the Soyuz, as you saw it reentering. Uh, it looked really different than what the shuttle typically does. It wasn't sort of a, a line of plasma that you typically see if you've ever seen a shuttle come back in. It was sort of this V-shaped plasma trail coming out behind it. So it was, uh, it was quite dramatic in these early, early morning hours here in Kazakhstan. Josh, we actually saw the uh, same thing from external cameras on the International Space Station. It was uh, very spectacular. Uh, we see now that Satoshi Furukawa is uh, out of the uh, Soyuz in his seat, uh, all three crew members out. And uh, considering uh, the weather conditions and uh, the single digit temperatures there, uh, this was a very swift uh, recovery operation. Yeah, you know, they always move really fast. We always talk about that. But given the weather out here today, which is just uh, intense, it doesn't even begin to describe what it is out here. Luckily, the wind is not quite as bad as what we were expecting, but the temperature is, is in the single digits. And you can definitely tell uh, just by standing out here. I mean, any part of your body that's exposed, like your face or like, like mine is right now, it, uh, it just the, the wind and the cold just sort of attacks your skin. So the crew is being moved very quickly. Uh, by the search and recovery forces, they're uh, they're they're not uh, uh, you know taking their time or anything like that. They're just making sure the crew is is feeling okay, which they are. They're taking some pictures right now, and they do have the medical tent set up. There was going to be a question about whether uh, they would end up 
uh, setting up the medical medical tent or not, and they did end up doing that because the wind, like I said, was not as bad as what they were expecting. But the uh, recovery forces I'm standing probably about 10 foot away from right now, and they're starting to roll the soil use, so I'm going to move out of the way. Um, but the crew, like I said, the crew's doing really well. Uh, it, it's sort of a cool, cold greeting to them. You know, after I haven't been in space five or six months, but uh, we'll talk to Mike Fossum and Satoshi here in just a few a couple of hours once we get back to Coos and I, uh, ask them about their time on board the station, and we'll also be talking about that handover uh, between Fossum and Dan Burvey. Of course, it was only four days long, so we'll ask him some questions about that. Continuing uh, to receive uh, television from the landing site, as you can see, the sun is up on uh, essentially a clear morning in central Kazakhstan, although quite cold. Uh, the Soyuz now has been uh, propped up upright it uh, will be hauled uh, via aircraft uh, back to a uh, return uh, to its uh, Energia facilities in Moscow for uh, technical analysis.